oils, all the things you get in the spa, creams. I'm guilty of making a, a cellulite cream a couple decades ago. I made a cellulite cream, called it, uh, what did I call it? I forgot what I called it, thigh cream or something like that. That was back in the day. Some of you may remember in the early 90s, everybody was making aminophilin creams for cellulite. Aminophilin is like caffeine. Aminophilin is a is an asthma medicine, and for a long, for a couple of years anyway, in the early 1990s, aminophilin and theophilin creams were all the rage for cellulite. Why? Because theophilin and aminophilin, which are similar to caffeine, help the body burn through energy. The caffeine is a helps cells burn through energy. The logic being that the more a cell burnt, uh, utilized uh, energy, burnt through energy, the more it would burn fat, and you'd lose cellulite. This is nonsense. Cellulite is a connective tissue disease. It's uh, not a disease, but it's a manifestation of a connective tissue breakdown, like wrinkles are, like osteoporosis is, for that matter. This is why we want to understand how the body is made up. This is one of the benefits of understanding the, the divisions of the components, the various components of the body. When we understand the components of the body, it will make us more powerful when it comes to healing. The body is made up of four components. It looks like when you have a health issue that, it, oh, my God, what the heck is going on? We've got all this confusion about various enzymes and, and molecules and cells and how everything's interacting. If you go to the medical library, and I go every uh, month or so, I'll make a visit, pay a visit to the medical library here in Denver. We have a wonderful medical library. And it's, if you don't love chemistry and you don't love biology and you don't love physiology and pharmacy and medicine and health and healing, it's very easy to be overwhelmed by the medical library because we know so much about the minutia of the body. But you don't need to know so much about the minutia of the body just to have a healthy body, just to reverse the degenerative process. Basically, you only need to know that there's four components to the body, four parts to the body. The body's a four-part construction. And by understanding this na the nature of the four-part construction of the body, we can become so much more powerful when it comes to health and healing. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about connective tissue building as it regards cellulite and as it regards protein and peptides and why protein is so darn important. And we'll talk about the distinction between these various components of the body so that we can become much more powerful when it comes to health and wellness and healing. We will do that tomorrow as we continue talking about protein and peptides and building on the bright side. Time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261 is our number. Bill in Oklahoma, welcome to the bright side. Good morning. What's up? Hey, good morning, Dan. What's going uh, on, my man? You know, I, I, two things. Uh, I'm just listening to, you know, that own the disease deal, and, and uh, if I could share that with you. My, my dad had Parkinson's disease, and uh, all he was, uh, I think, about 65 when he began to realize the symptoms of it, and, and uh, about two years into it, he came to, uh, to visit me. From, he was in Florida, I'm in Oklahoma, and he came to visit, and um, uh uh, I was a new Christian, and my wife said, you know, instead of preaching at your dad until he, you know, gets mad and goes home, so that I said, let's just pray for him, and, and, and we did that. And uh, one morning, I, I got up and went out to his uh, RV where he's staying, and, and uh, he, uh, uh, he, boy, he's, really, I can tell he's feeling good, you know, and, and at this time, he was needing help getting up off the uh uh, uh, low chairs and that, and and, uh, and anyway, he said, you notice anything different about me? And I said, yeah, Dad, it seems like you're really feeling good. He says, you bet I am. He says, uh, wow. uh, I got down and, and uh, prayed last night and asked the Lord in my heart, and he's healed me. And he said, look here. And he, man, he just up and down off the little low sofas like he's doing squat thrust. And, and That's awesome. Praise the Lord. And, awesome. uh, and he put up gutters on my house, uh, in the back of my house that day. And, Are and, you serious? Yeah. And he had Parkinson's the day before? Yes, yes. That's awesome. And, and, That's awesome. Yeah, and, and, you know, he was just praising the Lord Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Right. We we went to the lumber yard, and there was an old gentleman there that was writing out the ticket, and, and he'd uh, ride a little bit, and they let him stand down and, and rub his uh, hands, and, and Dad said, oh, you got some arthritis there, and... and uh, the guy says, yeah, and Dad says, well, that's nothing. I've got this. <laughs> he went through his list. You know, that's and, awesome, man. Parkinson, 
including Parkinson's disease, and, and I just, my heart sank, and, and we left, and I said, Dad, I said, you remember the Lord healed you? He said, all of a sudden, you don't understand. You, you, there's no getting over this Parkinson's disease, and he owned the disease until he died with it, you know. Is that and right? Was, so, that's but, right. But for yeah. one day, for one day, he was recovered, right? right? Mm. Two days. All things. Two days. Two days. All yeah. things are possible for the person that believes, yeah. right? All things are possible. All. Absolutely. ALL. That's Absolutely. awesome. That's a great story. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Bill. What's going on? How can we help you today? Okay. My wife, uh, she's really stressed out. She's got an appointment Wednesday to uh, begin this oral surgery for uh, three implants. And uh, I, I went through it, and there's really, you know, but she's uh, thinking about What kind of implants? What kind of dental implants? Yes, dental okay. implants. Yeah, the, you know, the, the post, and, and then they put the crown over the post. Right. It's, it's a pretty long, drawn-out procedure, but uh, anyway, uh, she She's got uh, some missing teeth? She's got yes. some missing... Okay. Yes. I, and you and want I, some ideas? Wanna, you want some ideas for helping, for helping heal? Yeah, right. Right now, we're, we're doing, you know, so many of the things, like the bone soup, Ben, we just love it. <laughs> and, that, and, praise uh, God. Ben, that's awesome. I love that. Uh, Thank you for sharing const- that. Constant part of our diet. In fact, I've got a, a uh, the, the the bone part of it ready to make the soup today, you know. Nice. So we're that's awesome. That's, our diet. that's great uh, healing food. That's great yeah. healing food. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, our... Granddaughter, uh, our daughter-in-law is Chinese. I mean, from China, and her parents and that. Bill, I need you to hang tight because we got to take a break, and then when we come back, can you? I, I need a question because we got a, yes. a bunch of folks yes. on the line. Hang tight, Bill. Okay. Thanks for sharing that okay. too. I appreciate that. That's okay. really, that's a great story. All right, I'm Farm Mrs. Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll get to your phone calls when we come back. So hang tight, and uh, we'll finish up with Bill in Oklahoma. Eight five five six six zero forty two sixty one is our number. We're coming back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. My name is Kay Swirling, and I am in the early part of my 10th decade. I want to discuss the issue of pharmaceuticals versus minerals and vitamin supplements. I remember a discussion between my mother and me. It was at that time that canned vegetables and fruits were introduced into the U.S. market. It was some time before my mother and others felt comfortable with food in cans. That was also the time when drugstores offered for sale cough syrup and aspirins and not much else. Let's fast forward to this decade, the here and now. Simple drugstores are large corporations with the message that they are the ones who have the power to cure human ills. Meanwhile, the battle continues with minerals and vitamins being the answer to human ills. Who will win the battle? I believe and hope it will be the belief in the power of vitamins and minerals over that of the toxic chemicals in prescription drugs. What do you think? So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. One in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. 
At only $29.95, fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Bill in Oklahoma, continue, my friend. What's going on? Okay. She uh, started on these high tide antibiotics, a Moxie Flash K Crave, 525 tabs in okay. methyl bread, uh, four milligram bread pack. And, okay. and so this is eating up all our probiotic type stuff. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, the antibiotics are killing the probiotics. She does need uh, the, I, they're giving her two drugs. They're giving her the antibiotics, and they're giving her the steroid drugs to keep the inflammation down. Uh, okay. And they're going to, the, the methyl, the, the prednisolone uh, dose pack, I think you said it was a dose pack. That's, yes. that's, yes, that's got a built that's got a built-in uh, reduction in dosage, so it'll it'll wean her off. It'll it'll wean her off automatically, which is a good thing. A lot of folks stay on prednisone and steroids for a long time, and you never want to do that. So it's a good thing that they've got her weaning off of the prednisone. But you're absolutely correct that she's going to have a problem with her with her gut from the probiotics, probably okay. from the steroids too. So not while she's taking the antibiotics, but in between, or maybe at night, you want her to make sure she's using fermented food and probiotics, both of those. And then when she gets off of her medication, you want to really pounding the probiotics. And there's also a couple of other things that you're going to want to do. And when I say pounding okay. the probiotics, I mean the Biolumin Nightly Essence. I'd be taking four or five of those a day, plus fermented food. She should be okay. subsisting on kefir and miso and tempeh and sauerkraut and uh, fermented beets, whatever you could do that's fermented. Uh, and then uh, also there's a lot of wonderful nutrients that will accelerate the healing process. Have her stay. I'm sure she's on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. She may want to double her. Dose. She may also want to throw in uh, some extra vitamin C. Go to the uh, off the internet or the health food store. Get yourself some vitamin C powder and start sipping on the vitamin. Have her start sipping on the vitamin C powder in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Mighty 90. The essential fatty acids and the OsteoFX will go a long way to speed up the healing process. Make sure she's getting enough protein. I'd be using whey protein and egg protein. Very very important for rebuilding. And then there's a couple other ancillary nutrients that can help. Uh, you'll have to get those at the health food store. Vitamin E, for example, 400 international units a day, very important for healing. Uh, and also zinc, very important for healing. 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate a day. Uh, zinc picolinate, and then along with her zinc, take uh, vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. Do all that with food because you need to have a little digestive juices to absorb all of that. And then uh, if there's anything else that's super-duper important, uh, selenium, the OPC selenium, I'd be using some of that as well. Uh, and you'll get, okay. that, uh, you'll get that off the longevity. You can get that off brightsideben.com or if I call on the Brightside Ben phone team. Good luck with that. And thanks for okay. sharing that story, Bill. Thank that you. was awesome. Appreciate it. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Okay, let's see. Shola in Georgia. You've been hanging on forever here, man. Appreciate your call. What's going on? Shola. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Shola? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. How how can we help uh, you today, ma'am? Yes, I was calling because I wanted to know if the um, the nutrients will interfere with the meds 
that my mom is on right now. If the nutrients will interfere with the meds? Yes. Okay, that's a because great question. I get that question all the time. Doctors will tell you they do, and I'm going to tell you they don't. I'm going to tell you that nutrients will help the medicines work better, And number one, and nutrients will uh, reduce the uh, likelihood of side effects and toxicity from the medicine. So even though this is goes runs uh, exactly 180 degrees opposite from what the doctors will tell you, 